Two minutes to Eskadem. This view from a camera on the International Space Station actually showing uh, the Soyuz MS-12 at a distance of some 62 miles away from the International Space Station as we are coming up on the 90-second mark until the start of the deorbit burn. Inside 10 seconds. I confirm SKD main engine activation. Copy. And the deorbit burn is underway. For 15 seconds, we've completed 5.5 5 meters per second, and 0 0.5 is the uh, acceleration. 4.5 minutes, uh, 1 to 1 1.9 meters per second acceleration is 0 0.47, standing by for uh, cutoff command. GK, GK uh, command uh, has been executed at 131103. Copy. And the deorbit burn is complete and nominal. A perfect uh, deorbit burn continuing. Uh, to receive uh, views from truss cameras on the International Space Station of the Soyuz MS-12. The deorbit burn was perfectly normal. And there's our first view of uh, the Soyuz MS-12 under its main parachute. The venting uh, that you're seeing, uh, valves have been opened to vent uh, hydrogen peroxide fuel for the entry control thrusters and oxygen in the life support system tank. This is a combination of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen escaping into the atmosphere to safe the Soyuz spacecraft for landing so that no hazardous gases remain in the vehicle's tanks when the soft landing engines fire a few seconds before touchdown. This is an, a normal occurrence at an altitude of some 18,000 feet. A good view of the Soyuz. Uh, again, uh, and there's the jettisoning of the heat shield. This uh, exposes the altimeter at the bottom of the Soyuz descent module to calculate uh, rate of descent and distance from the ground to update the Soyuz's computers for the firing of the soft landing engines just a couple of seconds before touchdown. And you can see uh, one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters, so we are approaching the moment of touchdown. Touchdown, right on the money. At 5.59 a.m. Central Time, 6.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.59 p.m. at the landing site, the soft landing engines having fired, the main parachute now reefing. Nick Haig, Alexei Ovchinin, and Haza Ali Al-Mansouri are home. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, back with live video from the landing site. Uh, a look at Alexei Ovchinin. 
There is Haza Ali Al Mansouri, the crew uh, having been quickly extracted from the Soyuz vehicle that landed on its side 16 minutes ago at 5.59 a.m. Central Time, 6.59 a.m. Eastern Time. This is Mission Control Houston. All three crew members are now out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft. 